Visitors to Carlow City Centre on Sunday morning will have witnessed a strange but festive sight as hundreds of residents took to the streets to run, jog and walk dressed as Old St Nick in the name of charity. Well, for the fourth year running, we're um, organising the Carlisle Santa Dash. Um, we're raising money for the uh, Jigsaw Charity at Eden Valley Hospice. Um, we like to do it just to best time of year for us to hand over a cheque to, to all the, the children up at the hospice. We've got 400 doing the 5K, which uh, will take us through Bits Park. We'll do a full loop of Bits Park and then they'll go behind the sands, up Georgian Way, uh, down behind the Civic Centre through Hardwick Circus, back into Bridge Park, up past the castle and straight up Castle Street to the finish in the town centre. It was estimated by Sport in Action that over £10,000 had been raised on the day for the hospice through entry fees and sponsorships. But there was also collections on the day which will contribute more to the total raised over the past four years. I think it's a time when people think more of children and obviously of the children up there not very well and so we just want them to feel Look, just to enjoy it a little bit more and if we can bring a little happiness to the kids who aren't, who aren't well then, you know, that'll, it's the best present you can give anybody. Oh, it was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> yeah, the, Mo the Moki girls did, did, did us proud and um, they got everybody warmed up, ready to go um, and they'll be there to start the, the next race as well. The event coincided with many Santa dashes across the country and the popularity of the occasion appears to be increasing with each year bigger this year than it has been before. We've sold out this year. We've actually had to put sold out because we, we, we're running out of Santa suits basically. Yeah, we need everybody to get a medal and a Santa suit, so we had to, it was sold out this year. We caught up with some of the runners ahead of the start of the Santa Dash 5k in Bits Park to find out more about their reasons for taking part and why some had slightly modified their seasonal costumes. Santa Dash! Dashing! Running very slowly. Running very slowly and then and eating racing, and drinking. For a good cause. We've been to everyone since it started in Carlisle. The Santa Dash with the doggy because he loves a good run, bless him. <laughs> and he loves all the people and it's such a good event. We did it last year as well and you've done it quite a few years. Yeah, I've done it so. three years in a row. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing for the charity that's run by the, the, club, the club and the organisation here. I've come all the way from Hexham in Northumberland to come and do this event. It's the first time ever I've done it. It's a brilliant atmosphere. The people are fantastic. It's great. Carlisle's great. Yeah, we are, yeah, there's yeah. a load of Border Reavers Yeah, we're running with, with the Border Reavers, so yeah, it'll be yeah. good like. I think because last year I was so miserable when I ran it, I thought I might as well just go all out and just come as the Grinch, so. And then about half an hour later we spoke to them again in the middle of Carlisle City Centre at the finish line where they were handed a bottle of water, a medal and of course a mince pie. Fantastic, shattered, <laughs> yeah very happy, yeah, over. yeah good. great, yeah, really good atmosphere. Atmosphere. fantastic water and the atmosphere yeah. is fantastic and the organisers are wonderful. Okay brilliant, because last year I walked a part of it and this year I've ran it. All good for charity. It was absolutely brilliant, loved it. Hundreds of Santas without any sacks, because we couldn't carry the sacks today, but never mind. Fantastic. Absolutely and weather fantastic. was brilliant for us. For us. Uh, the Santa Dash was amazing, loved it now I finished, and uh, I've got my breath back. It was really good. The Santa Dash raised money for a worthy cause close to Christmas time, but also provided a jolly sight for those standing along the route, clapping their hands, shouting encouragement, and sometimes a merry ho ho ho. Kira McFadgen, that's TV.